without sure. being offensive, yeah, get closer, and then you won't be a problem. What you mean, get closer? She stayed. Well, he likes staying evidently alone. <laughs> <laughs> I hit hard, bars, you can't tell me nothing Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster Your main bitch wanna pull me closer Alright, Mo Mafia It's the next day, I know I tell it to Mo Tuesday It's supposed to get posted on Tuesday But as y'all know, I'm out of my element I'm in a different setting So I'm, I'm finna drop it right now Mama right here, she don't wanna be seen Say hi, Ma Hi, love you guys. All right, we finna drop this banger though. I got y'all. Next week it'll be on time, I promise. Yesterday. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl Mo. And today, y'all, I'm here with Tell It to Mo Tuesday, episode eight. And I got my mama in the cut. Hello, everyone. Introduce yourself. Uh oh. See, I hate when that happens when people call. But introduce yourself. What's your name? Hello, I'm I'm Ramona. Mona Mo Mafia's mom. <laughs> it's lit, y'all. Okay, so today, y'all, Mama gonna be my special guest on Tell It To Mo Tuesday. I told y'all I was gonna have a special guest on um Snapchat and stuff. But we gonna get right into it. And we gonna keep it real and y'all gonna see where I get it from. You gonna keep it real, Mom? Absolutely. <laughs> Why you being so nice? Mm, no. <laughs> All right, first I have to be nice is good, girl. Bye. You ain't all that nice. All right, look. Okay. Don't believe that. <laughs> she said, "Don't believe that." All right, y'all. First one. Where am I? You're a replica of me, right? I'm. So you think I'm nice because you nice? Mm-hmm. You know, but you got a little ways about your dad, <laughs> girl. All right, Ma, put the speaker up to your ear so you can hear it. Which ear? The good ear. You ready? Okay. All right, th so this is going to be the first. Is that the good ear, Ma? They both good, but one got a hearing aid, so they about to eat them. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. First entry, y'all. Yeah. All right, Ma, we got a written entry, so you can set that down if you want, or you can just okay. hold it. Okay. So it say, hey, Mo, and the, hey, Mo and Mo Mafia family. Okay, so I've been with my baby daddy for 13 years. So this past weekend, I found out he was cheating on me with another girl. What should I do? Should I leave his ass or work through it? 13 years. Her baby daddy, they got kids. How old are you now? How old is she now? My she ain't say. She just said she was with him for 13 years. And they got a baby. And... She found out she, he was cheating. Well, just tell him when you get tired of two and three, come home to me. <laughs> Say period. Period, baby. <laughs> period. Hey, mama said it best. When you get tired of two and three, come home to me. Or you don't deserve that. You feel me? 13 years of your life, that's a long time invested in somebody for a relationship. You feel me? Like on, on some you, real stuff. If you invested in the house, would you just let it go because you needed a new roof? That That's... I hear you. That's some wise shit right there. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> you don't let it go. Don't let it go. Ma, was you spoken that gunja before we started this video? Mm -mm, just a little tired. Don't have a lot to deal with. <laughs> Like you lie. <laughs> uh, 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 really? <laughs> All right, then. Next one. All right. Uh, let's see. All right, Ma, you want to put the speaker up to you this for this one? You ready? Mm -hmm. What's good? Damn, you ready? Mm -hmm. What's good, Mo? I'm gonna keep it short and simple. So this is girl that stink and like. She just smell funny. I can't explain it. Like, it's every day. It's like, I guess she like me. You know, she cute or whatever. She got the the looks. But it's just like, every time I go around her trying to have a conversation, she stink. And I don't, like, I don't know if I should tell her. And I don't want to, like, seem fake. I don't want to seem distant. But, like, I don't know. Did you hear what he said, Mom? 
Did she say she stank or she fake? Stank. stank. And he don't want to seem fake. He said it's a girl he like. She pretty. You know what I'm saying? She attractive, all that. He like her. And every time he try to go around her and talk to her, she stank. Ma, she stank, ma. Ma, you take this one first. What you think he should do? Does she wear wanna... jeans a lot? <laughs> <laughs> ma, what is you saying? She probably got like a yeast infection yeah. from the jeans rubbing. Be. Hey, y'all see, y'all ain't never seen me in no jeans. That dye. And Mom uh, taught me young, don't put them jeans on. And, and no offense to Levi's, you know, or any of those other guys, but it is what it is. Man. Yep. So what you what you think he should do, Ma? Should he tell her like, man, baby girl, you smell kind of funny. I I think you should Get some work on your hygiene. Yeah, oh yeah. What should he tell her, Ma? What? What do you think he Without should do? Without being offensive? Yeah. Get closer. And then you won't be a problem. What you mean, get closer? She stayed. Well, he likes staying evidently alone. Only... <laughs> <laughs> Ma, they don't talk yet. He said he oh. like her and she like him. But he can't get past the fact that she funky. What should he do? Well, ask her, are you sexually active? So right, you need to question you. that coochie. Because something going on with it. If she's smelling like that, and if you smelling her from a distance or however, when you get close to her, man, listen, I'm going to tell you like this. Don't be an asshole. Don't be mean about it. Pull her to the side. Say, listen here, baby girl, I'm feeling you. You cool. I like you. But you have an odor that I can't get past. If you can fix how you smell, and don't be rude, you feel me, if you like her. Because then you're going to mess it up. You know what I'm saying, Ma? <laughs> <laughs> Petty, dude. Petty Wop. I don't know, but, I don't know whether to laugh or, or be sad. A stinking cooch. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty terrible, right? Right? Ma! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, oh my God. a lot of people out here can help her. You know, right. just just you know, ask your mother questions how to go. But know. just tell it to Mo Tuesday, Ma. Oh. You don't tell somebody telling it to Mo to ask they mama. They want to know what we think. So I think you should do that, man. Pull her to the side, let her know, baby girl, you stay. You got to wash that ass. You feel me? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm weak. Bob over here. Chop. All right, I got to restart the camera. Hold on. All right. <laughs> All right, next one. You ready, Ma? All right, we're going to go to a written one. All right. Oh, this for Tell It To Mo. Ma. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm woke, I'm woke. I'm not that sleepy, my mom. I'm woke. Ma, you tired? Do no. I gotta finish telling to Mo Tuesday by myself? No. Alright. I got you. Hey Mo, I know you don't like to read these, but hell with it, cause I need to know your take on the situation. Now I've been with my girl for a year and I felt I wanted to be with her forever after about seven to eight months. However, we have a common relationship issues like any other couple, but my biggest issue is communication. Isn't easy, and it's like no matter what I suggest, the second everything, the, no matter what I suggest, hold on, where I'm at. I suggest the second get I se she second guess everything, and suggests what to do for our family, and if she's what, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to start over. Okay, I'm going to start over. This is crazy. Hey, Mo, I know you don't like to read these, but help to hell with it because I need to, your take on this situation. Now, I've been with my girl for about a year. I felt I wanted to be with her forever after about seven or eight months. However, we have a, a common relationship issues like any other couple. 
But my biggest issue is communication isn't easy. And it's like, no matter what I suggest, she second guess everything and suggests what she wants to do for our family. As if she makes better decisions for our family as a whole, when everything falls on me as consequences. And at this point, she tells her friends our issues. And it's this one situation I really can't get past. I'm tired of feeling like, like this, like I'm being treated like an option. And at this point, I don't want to be in a relationship, but I don't know how to express it and, and where she, and whether she knows I don't want to be with her, but I can still co-parent for our babies. And you said it all right there. Pretty much. So you've been with her a year after about seven to eight months, you felt like you wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Be with her forever. But y'all communication is not the best. And they got kids together. So. Sound like an age difference. or An age difference? I don't know about that. But the situation um, about her telling friends and, you know, people y'all problems, that's not healthy. No. Because once you, let me tell you something. Once you. Once you display a certain image mm -hmm. to someone else about mm -hmm. somebody, they stick to that image, right. even, whether it's the first or the last. Or good or bad. Good or bad. So that's something she should not do. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I feel like if y'all can sit down and have a grown-up conversation and get past the communication barrier, mm -hmm. that y'all would be good. But if you feel like you at a point where you fed up and you don't want to deal with it no more, then do what makes you happy and do the best thing for your babies. Or do an adult time out. Right. You know Take what I'm saying? Go separate ways. Yourself. Period. Yeah. I like that, Ma. Take some time to yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what I'm saying? That, that's that one. So, mm -hmm. next one. All right, Ma. I think you're going to need the speaker. Okay. okay. All right, you ready? Yep. Oh, my fear. Okay, so this is the scenario. So I have a child from a previous relationship, and um, their relationship lasted six years, but it's been apart for four years now. And I tried to keep co-parenting open, you know, for the sake of the parent and the child, but the parent keep being disrespectful toward my me and my current relationship, and just like making things so hard as far as co-parenting and I'm just like what should I do because we get into it very often but I just don't want to cut that parent off but it's like I don't want to keep dealing with the disrespect in my other relationship either because it's just it's not that cause for like it's, it's over we have a child do it as far as the child or just get out the way So, <clears throat> she has a child from her previous relationship. Mm -hmm. her, her ex is interfering with her current relationship and being disrespectful and causing them to argue. So, she's saying, like, should she completely cut ties with the parent because of the issues it's bringing up in her current relationship? Or, you know what I'm saying, what should she do? That would be hard to do because, for one, you have a child with that person. Right. <laughs> Y'all always be connected. Yeah. For two, kind of, how long have you been with the new person, right? She didn't say. Oh. What I think you should do mm -hmm. is, if it's not about... The baby, mm -hmm. your current, shouldn't even know about it. Right. If, if it's something negative that's bringing issues into your current relationship, right. exclude her from it. Right. If she call on bullshit, hang up. If she send a text, delete it. Right. You feel me? She ain't living in your household. So at the end of the day, you need to protect what's yours. Exactly. So exclude her. Unless it's about the baby. 
Because everything else is irrelevant. We're not together anymore. If it's not about the baby, don't hit me up at all. My light went out. Hold on. All right, we back in action. All right, Ma, you ready? Put it up to your yeah. ear. Okay. Next one, y'all. All right, next entry, y'all. We got two more. And then we're going to wrap up this video. I know this video long as hell. All right, Ma, you ready? Yes, sir. We got two more. Okay. All right, hold on. Okay, love. So, I'm talking to someone that's older than me. Like, a lot older than me. And they used to be, they are a family friend. So, my question is, how do I deal with this? Because he's very, very scared. And I really, really like him. So, I don't want that to affect our relationship in any way. So, I told it to mom. Help me out now, girl. Okay, she said she talked to a family <coughs> friend who's a lot older than her. And he's super scared for her family to find out. And she like, what should I do? Somebody better start talking. <laughs> At the end of the day, you grown. And they say I'm 19, oh, by yeah. the way. She 19. Okay. You grown. Who gives a flying fuck who you talk to when you're grown? They gonna have their opinions. Everybody, this whole world is filled with opinions. You have to live your life for you to be happy, That's not for right. the next person. That's right. If you and him happy together, I don't care if he 95 and you 19. That's your relationship. Who, who put an age on who can date who anyway? Mm -hmm. If you're a grown woman, you feel me? That's so right. I think that if, if y'all don't, it's not their business anyway, but if you really want to put it out there like, okay, we're dating, then just tell them. Don't and be I, afraid to feel good in your life. Right. Don't be afraid to be happy because it's your happiness mm -hmm. that matters, not anyone else's. Mm -hmm. It's an age difference. Blase woo. Who cares? It's a friend of the family. So what? We we hit it off, motherfucker. You're safe from the jump. Right. Family friend. Right. So y'all know him. So if he a good dude and y'all fucking with him hard, tough, he in the family, then it shouldn't even matter. You you feel me? Right? As long as he's not 95. <laughs> it's like, like if, in the words of mama, as long as he's not 95, shit. All right, my last one. And we going to wrap up this video. I know you tired. You sitting there super chopped. Yeah, it was a long night. I had to babysit and they were crying, so. All right, last one. Me. Last one. Yeah, what's up, Mo? So, uh, yeah, so, um, I got this friend, right? We've been cool for like 10 years, you know, everything been straight, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, to make a long story short, I've been feeling some type of way because he just like be fucking with people like that I don't really, you know what I'm saying, do all that. Be trash talking me or saying like stuff about me. It's all good though, you know what I'm saying? So basically. My sister called. And stuff. Let's go trash, back. That's talking me or saying like stuff about me. It's all good though, you know what I'm saying? So basically, I had wrote him like a letter and stuff. I mean, not a letter, but like a paragraph. And I was telling him, like, man, you know, because we haven't been, like, close, like, for real how we used to. But I fuck with him. I love him. He he, he be fucking with me and shit. You know, he used to look out. I used to look out for him. But, you know, we started, like, going out separate ways. And that's how shit be. But, um, and the letter was, I meant the um, paragraph was, like, basically, like, man, look. I apologize because I feel like, well, you know how you get a vibe and like, you really don't know the vibe, but like, what if it's you? So I'm basically like apologizing to him, like, it may be me, you know what I'm saying? So if it's any animosity and I'm apologizing for like, for being, you know, a bad friend. I feel like I wasn't really a bad friend, but sometimes you never know. You what never did you know. do? So I just basically apologize and, you know, the nigga will write me back, so. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? What I do, or like, you know what I'm saying? Tell me what I it's do. Old Thank you for a man. So you got a friend who fucking with people that you don't fuck with. 
You can set this down, Ma. That mm -hmm. was the last one. Okay. So you got a friend who being cool and conversating with people that you ain't rapping with. And basically, you apologize. You wrote him a, a, a letter or a paragraph, whatever, apologizing for falling back. First of all, if we friends, you know everything about me. I've had this entry before. Mm -hmm. If we friends, you know everything about me. You know how I'm rocking. You know who I'm cool with. So why are you talking to somebody that I'm not cool with? It's about, for one, it's unsafe. Exactly. Because you don't know what they got going on in the cut on the low. Mm -hmm. So my advice would, to you would be, he showed, the proof is in the pudding. He showed you exactly that he not, he not trying to be cool with you. Because even though you didn't even have a reason to hit him up, you did that on the simple fact that you love your friend. This your real friend. He didn't even reply. That goes to show he a snake. He not your friend. That's right. And there's plenty of other people out there. Plenty of people that will be your friend. You'll know when they true friends because you'll speak on it. Right. You address something and then they will reply. Mm -hmm. But for him, for you to hit him up for no reason, honestly, because you didn't have a reason to hit him up at all. You didn't do nothing wrong. You just being a friend. That's right. So for you to have done that and then he not even reply, that goes to show that he's not really your friend. You feel me? That's it. That's it's all hard getting shut out. You gotta be strong. Don't break down. Stay strong and happy. Cause you sound really sad to me. You do. So be strong. Okay, go in the room. Please we almost be done. Strong. Go. We almost done. Go. <laughs> we almost done. Go. Yo, I ate was so hard. Hit. <laughs> Hear them beats. <laughs> All right, Mo Mafia. I know this was a long Tell It To Mo Tuesday. I just want to say thank you, Ma, for being on the channel. Love mm -hmm. you, I love you. Y'all, this is my special guest. Make sure y'all comment down below. We love you, Mama Mo, or something like that. What you want to be called, Miss Mona? Mo Mafia. Mona Mafia? Mo Mafia. Ma, that's their name. Mine too. Okay, she part of my mafia. That's right. So just comment. <laughs> we love you, right. Miss Mona, part of Mo, Mo Mafia. I don't fucking Stay know. lit, because we shit. <laughs> Gang. <laughs>